Hello and welcome to Met Jeff UK. This is the uh, forecast for Devon and Cornwall and the Channel Islands. And it's a little bit further ahead to the beginning of June. Uh, but before I start, I would like to apologise. My long range forecast did go a little bit astray. Um, wasn't quite sure that. Uh, or foresee that uh, we was going to get this cold spell um, but uh, it was the length of March and it's quite a way away so I think that so far my weather forecast is doing very well and indeed it looks like it's going to get back on track so without further ado we'll look at the uh, Met Office weather charts for Friday today what's left of it and the low pressure is spinning around over the Indian with its associated troughs going around it as well, giving some longer periods of rain or showers at times. This will gradually slip into the continent. And what we'll find is high pressure beginning to build behind it. So as we go into Saturday, uh, high pressure over the country, settling things down. And making it feel quite pleasant, especially out of the wind. Uh, if you get into a shade, it will still feel a bit cold, but uh, in that sun, in the, sh in the shelter of any wind, you would think you was in summertime. Which indeed we are, or we're supposed to be. <laughs> um, but anyway, into Sunday, and uh, high pressure holding on there in the south, uh, extending the ridge, further north so keeping it dry gradually this um, wiggling frontal trough moving across the country going to bring some rain or drizzle in from the west later on Monday I think uh, earlier part of Monday over Scotland and Northern Ireland and by the time it gets to England and Wales it's going to be late in the day on Monday before it affects us and by that time, very little rain, although there will be some heavier bursts mixed in. Uh, so going on to uh, what, Tuesday, and the low pressure is winding itself up over the western approaches of uh, Ireland. This looks like moving gradually south and east, and uh, a little trough could develop along it, and if it does, that will give some really heavy thundery showers, possibly with hail. And even going further ahead to Thursday the 30th of May. And we're going back to the idea which I originally had with high pressure over the Azores, gradually nosing in, moving east across the British Isles, and settling things down and warming things up considerably. And so when we get to the 2nd of June, we see the highs really beginning to gang up now and if you remember my original thoughts was high pressure over Scandinavia in June and low pressure over um, sort of Iberia and southern France and I think that is more likely now to happen so I'm really pleased with that the way things are going and of course that's going to bring some really warm but thundery conditions to the southern England at first spreading to most of the country and some of these showers are going to end up to be very heavy and uh, slow moving so they could be giving some flooding in, in uh, places so something to watch out in June is um, I think is heavy thundery showers with localised flooding Anyway, that's forever in the future. Thank you for uh, watching metjeff.com and I hope to be back with you very shortly with another forecast tomorrow and I'll be looking at my summer forecast and also the forecast that was May's and see how we got on with that one. But until then, whatever your weather, enjoy it. Bye for now.